Hi guys, welcome to data science tutorials and in today's video I will talk about how you can connect to Facebook with R. So to connect Facebook with R, you first you need to install the package R Facebook as it is mentioned here. Since I have already installed it, I will go ahead and use it with the help of library function. So this will import the package for me. So I will just press control enter. Once we have done that, we need to get the token which we have mentioned over here from this website Graph API Explorer and the link is mentioned here. I will put the link in the description so that you can use it. So this is the website where we need to go and when you paste it into your browser, you will get First of all, you will not get a screen like this. You will get a screen of your Facebook login. So once you are logged in, then you will get this screen which I'm getting it right now. So what you need to do is go here and you need to click on the get user access token. Once you click it over here, you have a lot of uh, permissions which you can grant to the token so that you can access it in the R. So like uh, email, publish actions, user location, user photos, pages and whatnot. So once you do that, uh, enable all the permission that you want to give, you can click on the get access token. Since I've already done that, I will remove this and I will go back to the R. So I have the token over here and once i get the token then i will go ahead and get the user so that's no one but me so i will press Control enter so get users is a function within this package our facebook and uh, what we are saying is that we need private information is equals to true so you press Control enter and then uh, if i show you me dollar it gives you a lot of information name username first name middle name last name gender likes picture location and all that so for the sake of simplicity let's go ahead and print the name control enter so that's my name and uh, let's see if i have hometown information mentioned over there control enter so it's any that's mean i have not published my hometown information there on the facebook so that's about uh, the information from your own profile. You can experiment a, uh, a more, as I mentioned, you can just put me dollar and see this different information about likes, pictures, but the location and all of that thing. And uh, apart from your own information, if there is any other public profile uh, that is out there, you can get the information of that public profile as well. So apart, let's come uh, go to the pages information. As you can see, we have the get, get page function. So what I am doing here in this case, I am getting the information from the page Barack Obama, who was the former US president. So we are storing all of that information in this object Obama. So we are passing just two parameters, Barack Obama and the token. What it will do is it will get the first 25 post information there in your object so control enter and then obama dollar messages so before i show you the messages what i can show you is what are all the information that it is capturing so from id from name message this is what we are pulling it over here created time type link id story all of that thing which sometimes is really helpful if you need to create a database out of it based on the uh, these important uh, you know world profiles you want to create a data set you have all these different parameters on which you can create the data set and validate it for all the new messages so let's not put all the 25 posts here but let's get the head of it and press control enter and here we have the posts five four three two one also if you are interested in seeing all of that information 
what I usually prefer is using the view and Obama data frame control enter and here I have so if I get it out by clicking it over here and expand it all those 25 post information is here so you have ID name message created time what type of this post is whether video photo and what and the link of that and then the ID again and then the story related to it its likes count comments count and shares count and with this you can do sentiment analysis we will see uh, another function get reactions which gives us more information about likes happy sad and what angry and all about all that so let's go to um, after this let's uh, see if we can get our friends information so basically what I'm getting is my friends information by just passing the token to this get friends function which is present in the Facebook package so if I press control enter it will show me or as you can see the message is it is giving only friends who use the application will be returned so with that I can see the information of my friend after this let's see a little bit about the FP page that we have so again we are using the get page function and passing the token and in this case we will get some reactions so we press ctrl enter to get the page it will run for a couple of seconds and it's done the processing and what we are getting is the reactions so as you could see we had the likes count and whatnot what we are getting is get reactions on the first post and we are passing the token and the api information which is version 2.8 if you will not pass it will throw an error so control enter and likes count and here you have got the likes count apart from that uh, in post underscore reaction if you put the dollar likes count you have love haha ha count wow sad angry all of those which is present over there so with that you can do the sentiment analysis which i have talked about in my previous post similarly you can uh, to the uh, get the reactions from the Obama's post and get to know what are the likes count what are the angry counts so that's pretty much all I have for this video uh, for this Facebook package and I hope you have found it useful and I will meet you in the new video with a new topic